Hello everyone. I'm going to show you how to catch minnows in the winter time for ice fishing. Especially if you don't want to go buy your bait at the local uh, bait shop. You don't want to spend the money. You just spend the money on the traps and a little bit of food. And you'll definitely be able to catch them no problem. That's all you really need right here. As you can see I, I got barely even anything with me. Just my auger. My two traps. And I got a bunch of bread in here. I am Canadian. I'm not afraid to walk on the ice. All right, we'll get to it once we uh, get the holes or get to the ice. Something else I'd like to mention too. I like going down to the ponds. I don't like trapping in streams or uh, down by the rivers or anything like that. I like to go down to ponds. I find it's a lot more easier down at a pond. Besides, I've never really ever gotten any fish to eat any bread out in the rivers or creeks or anything like that in the ponds there's very little food so you can catch as many as you can so here's a, a nice pond right there it is filled with catfish a lot of times you will get catfish i'll teach i'll show you guys after how to figure out not how to not how to get catfish i like to trap during the morning not in the afternoon or during the night at night you get more catfish i find in the morning the shiners and the minnows and all that are more active i find all right catch you at the hole all right we've arrived to the pond this is what the pond looks like there if it gets a little blurry i'm recording with my phone right now Dog. It's not a very big pond either. Get all the stuff here off the sled so we can start drilling some holes. Alrighty, well, I gotta get, get back to you guys once uh, I get the holes and everything. My phone's almost gonna die. Alright, got the holes done. There's four of them here. I don't know if you guys can see them. But I like doing a four square like this. That way there you can bust right there, there, and there. And then you can push the trap down in there. Right here I think it's only about maybe three feet, two feet. Thanks to the good old DeWalt hammer drill on the five inch. Alright, get back at you once we got some bait. And we're ready to drop down the traps. Alright, there's your trap. Well, my trap. I'm here to do this is what it's going to look like. All you need is just a little bit of bread. I got like half a hot dog here. Oh, it's nice and moldy. It's starting to get a little bit green. That's great. Right. They don't mind that. Yeah, just break it up, stuff it in there. It's a lot easier if you open it up, but I only got one hand right now. And I find too, if you just break it up like this here, it's better off. And little chunks and all that start flying, floating everywhere. Hey, it's my stick! The culprit's trying to steal my stick. Alright, once you got a nice sized bait pile in there, you just put the trap in the hole. Like I said, you, you break those corners off and then slide the trap in. Don't go all the way to the bottom because you don't want to catch crayfish, you want to catch bait. So you can see right there, I pretty much just have it literally a couple inches off underneath the ice. Then you get a stick and you just tie your stick and you just hang it there and leave it for a bit. I like coming to check it every three to four hours. Okay, I'll get back to you guys once I got it halfway done. This is what it should look like once you got it covered up. You can see my trap is just sitting down there. You can see all the bait inside it. Alright, I'm going to set another one possibly over there. 
I'm gonna come back in a few hours. Okay, here's my other trap. Like I said, I only just wanted a few inches off underneath the ice. Must mean I got it loaded with a bunch of bait. Right here, close to the weeds. See what we can get. Yeah, just we have to smash this one up just a bit more. Chunk side too. I would clean the slush out, but I don't feel like freezing my damn hands. So like I said, you see the trap, it's just underneath the ice. I don't know, he's just taking it, covering it up, so. Who knows if someone's gonna step on it. I feel bad if they do. But, yeah, just cover it up just like this. The other one's just... I don't know. The other one's just sitting right there. Like I said, you can check it in another maybe three, four hours. I gotta go to work anyways for a few hours. And then after that, we'll come check them out. And I'm guaranteeing we should have quite a bit of shiners and dace and maybe fatheads and chubs. Who knows? All right. Catch you after. Always remember, guys, don't let her. Don't just take your bags and just throw them around. Take them with you. You never know. You could end up using them for more bread. That's why I got this little compartment here on the front. I'm going to be able to store my bait. And I got my axe, my auger, and my two uh, minnow traps. And I just got to get a minnow bucket. And that's all. Like I said, though, don't litter. Don't be that kind of guy or that person. All right. There you guys, we're here checking out the traps. Let's see what we got. That's trap number one. Here's the second trap. Bad for that little pond. I'll lie in there a couple hours. See, so. we we'll have to leave that in there so they stay cold. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you guys. Here's my minnows. I believe I did pretty good for about four, five hours. Looks to be about three dozen, maybe four. A bunch of shiners and dace and uh, chubs. Caught all those on the the bread and the traps in the ponds. All right, thanks. Don't forget, remember to like and subscribe. And then, uh, yeah.